the brain is a very difficult thing. And so is art. So when you add art and the psyche all together, you get something pretty cool. So how does the artistic environment affect the psychology of the brain? It's a human expression, mm -hmm. no matter what it entails. Art has a very broad definition to me. It's, uh, like I said, uh, just how you perceive it. Art is everywhere. Obviously. Art really can be anything. I feel that you can take any subject and make art from it. And you can also, and vice versa. I think art affects the world and the world affects art. Two girls, two neighborhoods on a mission to connect art with the psyche and crime. Here we go. Everybody's feeling the strain of a nine to five. Terror management theory claims that all people experience anxiety caused by fear of knowing that we will one day die. Wilkesburg had the highest crime and homicide rates. It makes people think of what might happen to them if they were caught in the crossfire. Squirrel Hill had the lowest crime and homicide rate, so people had less fear because they didn't have to worry as much about the violent crime happening to them. We wanted to see if this affected the type of art that people could relate to. Mm -hmm. If you make things colorful, it, it, it brightens up your spirit. I feel art is good for the soul. Well, it, it, it's soothing, it's warming. How many crimes do you think are committed here in Wilkesburg? I, I have no idea. Too many. Too many? Uh, Did you know within the 10 years this has been 51 homicides? Do you know that I'm going to my 30th funeral tomorrow? Oh my gosh. From July to, from July to, this is the 16th. I'm going to a funeral tomorrow. My 30th. Crime and art can kind of be related. That some of the young girls and the young guys participate and let them write what they feel on a certain building that's not being occupied. As long as it's not disrespectful, sure. And any man who knows a thing knows he knows not a damn, damn thing at all. And every time I felt the hurt and I felt the giving, getting me up off the wall. Abstract art shows less meaning. Think of it this way. Rich people buy it because nothing in their life relates to art. They need something abnormal because they have safer, easier lives. Reality is boring. But give someone who can relate to death and crime figurative art, it's something they can relate to because it's real, and it would bring down the anxiety about death by giving hope. If I recall it's the gift I guess I'll pass it on Mother thinks it'll lift The stress of Babylon Mother knows My mother she suffered blows I don't know how we survive such violent I think To some people I think it's Yeah I think it's a good thing Coral Hill I don't know I think it's important everywhere Yeah Maybe more people Or more young folks Get into art That maybe it could help I think it. I think it definitely could help crime rate go down. Definitely, I think art's always a safe outlet for people to to get out any type of emotion. Like people just don't have a, another way to express themselves. Bro, is weird. Here, everyone walks past them. You hurry up and get past you guys. I yeah, know. it's like this camera in my face. Basically, like everybody has some place to go, something to do. So that's probably why the crime rates are low. Probably why there's not a lot of graffiti and a lot of art. When you go to Wilkinsburg, it's like, it's just all black, predominantly. Yeah. And it's so a little rowdy. It's like, it's just a lot going on. It's probably loud. It's probably crazy. Art is a way to see the world in a different light and everyone sees it differently. The difference between experts and non-experts are how they view different types of art. Everyone has had different experiences. So when it comes to TMT or terror management theory, which is the visual artistic experience of abstract or figurative art, people lean towards figurative art because people can understand it. It shows survival and reality. Where abstract art is not real and is disliked because it lacks meaning. We brought up the topic of crime rates and homicides because we thought that it would be a way to get people more into their own experiences within the community. The topic of death influences their opinion of art. 